Give us more time, Kibo. Are you all right? Are either of you injured? I'm okay. What? The hidden door has been blocked by rubble. Here we go. Now this globe never was useful. Although wasn't there something about a continent being moved or something? Are you okay, Liz? Hold on! Himiko is... I'm sorry. I'm relieved that you two are not hurt. But the rebel... Damn, I used too much time. It's dawn already. Whatever, we get to see everything. I totally just poked myself in the eye. Kibo, could you just not do that? Thanks. I need to fucking investigate Rantaro's room. Wait, we're back here. God damn it. Okay, well, I didn't expect that to throw me all the way back, but I've gotten here with a lot more time saved, so that's fine. The hidden door has been blocked by Rebel. We can't get in or out. Is Himiko trapped? I think so. Kibo, -kun. Kibo can you do something? Mm -hmm. I can destroy the debris, but without knowing Himiko's status, it could be dangerous for me to just recklessly attack it. <laughs> Are you just saying we should just leave her here? I can do such a thing! We're friends! But I'm not strong enough to lift the debris. Let's use the Exosol. What? What? Use the Exosol? How? You don't have any more of me used inventions than the Mana Cups are in the Exosols. Exactly. We're going to get Monokuma and the Mana Cups to do it. Monokuma and the Mana Cups? I love that band. They don't want this either. Their objective is to continue the killing game. Are you suggesting that we send Render to them and continue the killing game? But Himiko was in danger! Rescuing her should be her first! No, we're going to end this killing game. What do you mean? Do you have a plan of some sort? Yes, I do. It just requires a little bit of detective work. We need to investigate some more. Huh? What about Himiko? I'm worried about her, but we have to trust that she's okay right now. We trusted her when she said to leave everything to her. If we just stand around here, then we're not respecting her wishes. <sighs> oh, okay. Himiko is the ultimate magi magician. I bet she'll use her magic to find a clue in that room that's just playing amazing. Mm. Like a way out. That would be critical with what we know about the card key thingy. Because if there's another way into that room, then we can put the pieces together. Yeah, I'm sure Himiko is okay. If you are in search of clues, I would investigate the classroom on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Huh? I caught a glimpse of something odd there while battling the exosols in the courtyard. Whatever clue you are looking for may be there. Something odd. Just hurry. You don't have much time. It's nearly dawn. Bitch, you impose the time limit! And I'm worried about Himiko. Kibo. But you won't change the time limit, will you? I can't keep evading the Exosol's attacks beyond that time limit. If we don't settle this soon, I'll be destroyed. And if that happens, we'll use the chance to destroy the Ultimate Academy. That would be the worst ending. No, it would be an ending of pure despair. Kibo. Tsumugi, I'm going to the second floor. I don't know if I can get all of them. But I'll do what I can. I'll see you later. With confident steps, Tsumugi ran out of the library. Himiko, just a little longer. You've increased your bond. What could possibly be on the second floor hallway that is going to be more telling? Mommy Kid, I swear to God, if I have to come get Kibo to punch you again. Okay. Is 
Is this the classroom that we weren't in, or the one that we were? It was this one. Kibo said that he saw something odd while fighting in the courtyard. I should be able to see the entire courtyard from here. This must be what he was talking about. Alright, let's see if I can find something. How did the ducks just get like this? Like, it looks like there's a monitor buried there, but... Wait, what? What's this desk? There's a keyboard floating above it. Is this connected to a computer? This must be the something odd Kibo was talking about. When I touch the keyboard... Flashback light set up? Set up like settings? Seeking answers, I pressed the enter key. Hello, Game Master. Loading. Unlocking new memory? Do these settings create new flashback lights? To test my deduction, I selected one of the categories. I don't even remember what the each motive one is. Select the subject you wish to remember. So there are still some memories we haven't remembered yet? Mm. If we can remember something new, that would definitely be a clue. Yes. Alright, let's try it. I wonder what kind of memory it is. I'll start with the survivors. Uh. Mm, select the subject you wish to remember? What does it mean by select? These are all... Memories we forgot. No, these are just options. All of these should be true events, so why would you only be able to select one? In these categories, there are several inconsistencies about the survivors. Do I have to select the correct one? So then, uh... I suppose I'll choose the survivors on a different planet. If that's true, there's more hope for us. This is for creating fake memories. Are you sure you wish to remember this memory? The symbol of hope, Hope Speak Academy. The worst incident in human history occurred. With the work of Future Foundation, the world was rebuilt. The falling meteorites caused an outbreak of an unknown virus. The Gopher Project was then executed. Sixteen high schoolers survived. However, there were survivors on other planets. There were survivors in other si ships similar to the Ark. I suppose I meant to select yes here. Alright, I'll press it. From the reception area? What sound? It came from that locker. The sound I heard definitely came from inside this locker. I'll open it. Uh, a flashback light. This is new. It just got here. Just as I suspected, you can make flashback lights with that desk. I don't know why it was hidden in a normal looking classroom. There must be a switch here hidden somewhere. Flipping that switch will cause this desk to activate. I'm sure Kibo saw all this when the room was destroyed. 
what interests me is exactly how these flashback lights were made. There is only one truth. There should only be one true memory. But this clearly allows you to choose. Why? And there is no indication of which are real. Is there more than one truth? What is the truth? And what are the lies? Right at that moment, the classroom door suddenly burst open. Oh. Himiko? There you are, Shimichi! Himiko! Huh? The classroom changed back to normal? So when the door opens, the classroom reverts back to normal? I can assume that was done in order to obfuscate the room's purpose. The person operating all of this did not want us to see it. And if they're cautious of that... I don't know what you're thinking, Shimichi, but... Be happier that I survived! I was able to make a spectacular escape from that sealed room. Bitch, if you say it's magic, I'll punch you. Uh, right. How did Himiko escape when the entrance was blocked by rubble? Mm. Himiko, how did you get out of the hidden room? The room and the hidden door in the library destroyed. We were so worried about you. You were trapped in there. Huh? Yeah, you don't understand how I escaped from there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You don't get it. You don't know how I escaped. Then I shall tell you. I escaped from that sealed room with my magic. Bitch, now is not the time. I'd be a little bit disappointed if she didn't say that, though. <laughs> Himiko, now is not the time for... Himiko, are you okay? That was a close one. I almost died. I told you, now's not the time. Got it, I'll tell you. I definitely use my magic, but another thing that helped me escape that sealed room was the girls' bathroom on the first floor of the school building. The bathroom? Do you really want to go in there with me? Huh? I'm not inviting you to go to the bathroom with me. Don't start getting weird thoughts. She's blushing. She's blushing. Himiko, what the fuck? Uh, no, I know that. The girl's bathroom on the first floor. What does that have to do with the hidden room? There doesn't appear to be any new clues other than the flashback light. So Alright, I'll have the bathroom. <laughs> What's going on in this bathroom? Does it have something to do with the hidden room? Once you go in, you'll understand. Seeing is believing. Follow me. Himiko gestured me closer and walked into the girl's bathroom. The girl's bathroom, huh? Well, that doesn't mean it was definitely a girl. Because if they chose this route to be indiscriminate about how they were accessing the mastermind room, than they had to be a girl. It would be funny if Tsumugi was Junko in disguise. That's probably just wishful thinking. But one of my friends told me quite ominously that I would definitely come to like Tsumugi, and she's been the boring character who has no development and no real role in the story this entire time. Probably that's probably wishful thinking though. This is an emergency. Nothing I can do about that. <sighs> now's not the time to be thinking about boys and girls' bathrooms. Alright, I'll do it. 
I repeated several excuses in my mind as I stepped into the girls' bathroom. What are we doing here, Himiko? Oh yeah, wasn't there a device on the wall when we were here as Kayane before? So it's just like the killing game in Hope's Peak Academy. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's just like them, right? The hidden room and the bathroom are connected. Was it? Connected? I don't even remember that. Was that was that the room where they had alter ego? Mm -hmm. The hidden room and the bathroom? Look where the equipment is placed. Jeez, caught up on past killing games. That's typical of a remnant of despair. The utility closet? Was that there before? This looks like a normal closet, but I carefully placed my palm on the far wall of the closet. A hidden passage? Isn't that surprising? A hidden pathway deep within the bathroom. Now proceed through this pathway. Mm. Yeah, let's go. That means the mastermind was someone in the killing game. I feel like I've su suspected Sumugi at every turn just because she's boring. I stepped through the false wall and into the hidden passageway. This will, of course, come out in the Masterminds area. Won't it? Yes. It leads to the hidden room. The girls' bathroom and the hidden room and the library are connected. The library isn't the only way to get in and out of the hidden room. The hidden room had the secret passageway leading out of it. And that passageway connects to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. But this passageway wasn't on Rentaro's survivor perk map. This passageway was hidden even from him. A hidden passageway that only the mastermind knows about. Passageway to connect with the girls' bathroom. Like that does make Kaede the most suspicious by merit of being a girl and having pink. I mean, I don't know. I don't think Miu would make the tools to her own things defeat. Although she certainly could have. Once more, I shall reveal the secret behind my escape from the sealed room. Mm. Yes, please do. Mm. Far enough you guys left this room, there was a huge explosion and I got flipped over. When I came to my senses, it looked like this. I'm surprised you weren't hurt. Since I've been using my magic a lot lately, a magical backlash must, must have happened in the, and the way out got buried in the rubble. Even I, the wise and powerful Himiko, panicked a little bit when I saw I was trapped in here. What happened after that? I banged on the walls and the floor and yelled for help. Calmly and rationally, of course. I'm sure. Then I happened to find that hidden pathway and that's how I got out. Then I ran into Kibo and he told me that you were in one of the classrooms on the second floor. So I rushed over there. I see, so that's what happened. I understand now. Nah. Well, was I useful? Mm -hmm. Huh? It seems Hibiko is still concerned about that. Yes, honey, you were useful. Mother Kuma is lying on the ground, likely due to the explosion. Is it broken? Hi, hi. I'm busted! Ah, it's so bad. I can't go on! I wanted to birth more and more and more. Birth monokumas, huh? Oi. Hey, is it true that you can make spare monokumas? Oh. Uh, of course it's true. Uh, Fine. Since this is 
that's the end for me, I guess I'll say it. I have a built-in voice print authentication system. I can't birth Marakumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. Well, I guess it's not Smoogie then, because they all said it. Designated person. Right. It's to ensure that my Marakumas are birthed into a welcoming environment, you know? Right. Wait a minute. This designated person, do you mean the mastermind? Only the mastermind's voice command will make you create a spare Monokuma? Dude, the mastermind has to be Kaede then. Or like, somehow. Kaede is the mastermind her twin sister was executed. I'd love that. But then how is the Junko we saw at the end of chapter 5 fit into that? Ba -ba -ba. The hot hint was on the house, so to speak. Glory to the killing game! Oi. Hey. It seems like it's really broken this time. That was an important clue. Mother Kuma creates spare molecules after receiving the mastermind's voice command. I should probably get up here. I'm surprised we don't update the truth bullet. If the ends are into the bathroom are blocked by Rebel Oak, we'd be completely trapped. Ne. Kimiko, let's go. I have a good idea of what's going on here. Anosa. Hmm, something wrong? Nah. Just tell it to me straight like a man. Mm -hmm. Tell you what. Anna. A hidden pathway I found. Is that a useful clue? <laughs> I want to be useful for my friends. I can't help much on investigations, can I? I couldn't find the mastermind. <laughs> ah, you're worried about that. Mm. Himiko, not only were you useful, you may have cracked the case wide open. <laughs> oh, uh. Really? If I found such an amazing clue, that's proof by no ordinary person. <laughs> I'm terrified of my own magical power. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. That passageway is a vital clue to let us here. There's nothing to check there. Oh, we can go this way? Gravel blocks the way in the library. So you have to go through the hidden passageway to get out of the room. <laughs> okay, whatever. I can't leave by clicking on the door. Almost set the time limit though. This is like a sprinkler system here? That's weird. So we need to hear back from Samugi. Uh, yeah. If we've come this far, we're safe. Now that I feel safe, I'm a little over it. Uh, okay, I'll step outside. Flushing, I left the girls' bathroom as fast as I could. Not fast enough, probably. <laughs> At that moment. Huh? Uh. What were you doing? Why were you in the girls' bathroom? Maki, it's not what it looks like. I'm just... Do you want to die? No, listen, there's a reason... Kimiko's inside, and you were in there, Shuichi. Okay, this is all a huge misunderstanding. Well, I guess you wouldn't enter the girls' bathroom without a reason. I'll believe you. Thank you. Though it still seems like you want to murder me. Anyway, I found this. Rantaro's picture. Thank you. I took the photograph from her and inspected it closely. I really like how everyone's working together for this one. Unlike past investigations, where they just kind of stand there. Like, this is 
some active shit. Past investigations both in this game and previous ones for chapter 6. Like, like good shit. Good active characters. Thank you. I know you can't do this with 16 characters, but still, thank you. I took the photograph from her and inspected it clear closely. Just as I thought. I sighed to myself looking over the picture. Everything was beginning to connect in my mind. I finally saw through all the lies. With this, I can fight. I can fight the mastermind behind this killing game. And I believe I can end it all. He looked like he just realized something. But what do you want to do now? It's almost done. This is fun. They don't even know the mastermind's identity or where they are. It's okay. I have a plan. Can you two please go get Samugi? She should be in one of the labs. After that, I'd like to gather everyone in the courtyard. Mm. I'll be waiting for you there. What do you mean? What are you planning on doing? Stop the killing game, of course. But we haven't even found the mastermind, so how... They can talk about that later. We don't have much time left, so let's hurry and find Smoothie. Mm. Oh, I see. I stood and watched Himiko and Maki go off to find Smoothie. Yes. Alright, to the courtyard. But before I stop this killing game, I need to stop the destruction of the Ultimate Academy. So we have to get Kibo? Is he in the library still? Or is he outside? I'm assuming it's, he's outside since it let us go outside. When I stepped out of the courtyard, I yelled at the top of my voice. Kibo, Kibo Marikuma, please stop fighting! We can solve this another way. One's best for both of you. Please listen to me. My voice reverberated throughout the courtyard. And after a while... It's almost dawn, like we agreed. Have you found what you were looking for? Are you ready to do what must be done, Shuichi? Either way, this is your last chance. I have no idea what's going on, but messing with this robot is starting to bore me, so... I guess I'll hear you out. So, what is this other way? Class trial, class trial, class trial. A class trial. We're all going to do a class trial one last time. A class trial? What do you mean? Are you trying to continue the killing game? This is no time to mess around. I thought you were going to end it. Yeah. I'm not messing around. <laughs> this class trial will end the killing game. A class trial to end the killing game? As Kibo spoke, I saw Maki running over from the school building. Hey, what do you mean we're going to do a class trial? Are you serious? That's? How you're going to end the killing game? Mm. Everyone's here. Now let me say this. We need to stop fighting and have one more class trial. If we reveal the whole truth there, we can end this killing game. The killing game will end when the truth is exposed. Why would you say such a thing? By the end of this class trial, that will be clear. Marikuma? You're the one who calls these class trials. Yes. But not this time. This time, we choose to call the class trial. One to end them all. But why do we need to hold the class trial when no one has been killed? That's what I'd like to say, but I get it. What? My little shootout with this rundown robot hasn't been fun for a while now. And I think it's pretty interesting that you guys are on board with holding a class trial. In fact, I work 
capture me during the ship. This turn of events will make things very interesting. So even these circumstances, you take the opportunity to make things interesting. That means the killing game must be. However, if we're gonna hold a class trial, I'm gonna hold you guys responsible for it. Uh, responsible? Not bad. It would be bad if we held a class trial that didn't reach a satisfying conclusion. In other words, the trial doesn't go your way and ends without the truth being exposed. Then you all will be held responsible for staging such a disappointing class trial. <laughs> of course. I don't doubt your resolve at all. But are the others okay with it too? The responsibility will be shared by all of you. The responsibility will be shared. We've been ready. I'll trust you. But if you screw this up, I'll kill you before Marikuma can. That's a good thing either way. Mm. Yeah, I believe you. You're right. There's no point in freaking out now. I have friends I can trust. There's nothing to be scared of. Kibo. Also, if we're gonna do this class trial, you gotta take off all that fancy sci-fi gear. We can't risk you going berserk if the outcome isn't in your favor. Take off this gear. If I remove these armaments now, I will lose my chance to destroy this academy. This is the last chance. The last chance to not let Marikuma win. Is this really alright? Mm. Kibo, please. Believe me. I don't want Marikuma to win. We're going to win. Our hope is going to end this game of despair. This Do you really think that ending awaits us? It sounds too good to be true, honestly. Mm. Yes, I do. That ending is hope for us. And we can't give up on hope. Kibo, let's trust Shui Junior. Yeah. You don't want to die either, right? So, yeah. We're all friends who can believe in each other, aren't we? Very well. I will remove my armaments. Let's hold this class trial. Thank you, Kibo. Then it's decided. That's right. Our class trial. Our final battle. Our hope will defeat your despair. What was the chapter, or what was the title of the first chapter? My class trial, our class trial, something like that? I feel like that was a throwback to that. Since Kaede is going to be involved again, I think. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is he that confident he'll win? It'll be okay. He's probably just bluffing. Who can say? I wonder if they all get executed anyway. Like if they lose this class trial somehow. Well, if we're gonna hurry up and do this class trial, we should hurry up and head to the trial grounds. Huh? However, I will have the Monica strip that robot of his gear. Eh. I know. Omaira. Everyone else, please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment and head to the trial grounds. Ba-ba-ba! Uh, I'll go on ahead and begin preparing. Mother Cubs, you can take it from here. <laughs> Alright then, we're gonna take all the gear off of that robot. I'll finish it in seconds, because I'll work like I eat. Fast and sloppy. Mm. You shouldn't be proud of being sloppy. I'll meet you guys there. Yeah. Mm. Kiba walked back towards his lab with the exercise. Yeah. We should go too. I can't believe we're having another class trial. I didn't think Mama Kim would accept so easily. That was too easy. 
I can't help but feel a little strange. He probably agreed to it to stop Kibo from destroying the academy. Still, it was almost too easy. Perhaps Monica must simply expected this. But it was so much easier than I imagined it would be. No sense worrying about that now. We've come this far. We just have to do it. To end this killing game, we have to follow his rules one last time and win this class trial. Maybe he accepted because he couldn't handle Kibo's destruction anymore? No, that can't be the reason. Even Kibo said it himself, he'd only be able to withstand the Exocell's attacks until dawn. Then why did Monokuma agree to this so easily? Yeah. I can't say for sure, but we can't be distracted by that. That's true. No matter what he's plotting, yeah. we're ready to end this killing game, right? Soda. Yes, with this class trial. We're having another class trial, but this will be the final one, right? Mm. Yes, that's right. This will be the final trial. I wonder if Kibo is okay. I hope they don't do anything weird while they're disarming him. Yep. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it wouldn't be fair trial that Marikuma insists on. Soka. Oh, I see. Then it's okay. The four of us and Kibo, huh? by combining the marks of our friendship, we can overcome this final class trial. Let's do it. Yes. The next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll all be over, right? The flags! We can win, right? Mm, of course. It'll be okay. This class trial should be much easier than the others. Huh? Why? Up until now, we had to find the culprits among the people in our group during the class trials. That's why we couldn't work together even if we wanted to. But this time, it's different. Uh, since there isn't a culprit among us, we can work together without any doubts. We're all gonna be working together this time. I already feel more at ease. Aww. But I wish it had happened sooner. At the beginning, there were 16 of us. Now there's only four of us standing here, plus Kibo, who's coming later. Oh, We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you so depressed? Oh, oh, sorry. You're right. What the fuck is he holding? <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Kibo that was fast, Kibo. His weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking. What? Are you disappointed? Did you prefer your sci-fi gear after all? No, it's not that. Wait, is his Ahoge back? His Ahoge is back! What the fuck? I'm just very sorry. Kibo bowed at the waist to us. <sighs> I acted recklessly and I put you all in serious danger. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> What's wrong? You're totally different from before when you were in battle mode. Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. That's right. I finally recognized that you are right. My inner voice told me. Your inner voice? I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the Mana Cubs repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I'm incredibly boring again. So we can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like... His hair looks like an antenna. Does that mean it wasn't just decoration? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? <laughs> I was wrong to try to destroy everything just to avoid losing to despair. Even if I had followed through, there would have been no hope or future left afterwards. 
in which case my actions would have merely resulted in a different despair altogether. I do not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. Dude, that was the most interesting you've been all game. At least you were doing something. But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please. Of course, Kibo. That's what I've wanted from the start. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do all this. So, you'll allow me? Oh, you seem angry, Tsumugi. Would you prefer I not help? I'm not bad. I'm just holding myself back. When someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Uh, That's respectable. Well, of course. Yeah, I'm okay now. Of course you can fight with us, Kibo. Um. There is a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Th thank you. Um, by the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but... What is that vacuum clinger you're carrying? Oh. It's the bug vac. I think Okichi designed it and had Nia make it. Ah, uh, yes. Gonta had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Mm. Yes, I thought it could be a clue to something. Uh, we can't seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there are any. <gasps> so it really was just going to some imagination after all. Yeah. Wait, it might be too soon to determine that. Can we at least wait until I've examined it with my eyes? Your eyes? What is this wood thing for real? Oh, that's the broken. It looks like it, at this angle, it looks like a piece of wood, you know? It's just the broken shrine. Gotcha. Keep oof seems completely different from earlier. Maybe it's like equipping all those weapons and enhances his feelings too. It happens with cosplay too. When you wear a cosplay, you start acting like the character. A little too easily sometimes. Maki, you brought that thing with you, huh? You act like you're cold and distant, but you're surprisingly warm and serious. I finally feel like I've figured out how close we are now. She's not gonna object. Nice. With Kibo's eyes, huh? If Gonta couldn't even see it, I doubt Kibo would be able to see it either. What do you mean, Kibo? What good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? Also, did Smithy find anything in the labs? Eh. That was true, until I installed my zoom function. Mm -hmm. Your zoom function? Hi. It was in my lab next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to the zoom function, my vision has decreased a hundredfold. Uh. A hundredfold? <laughs> That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. This, this is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I've finally accepted that. There are notable differences between us, but they're nothing for me to be ashamed of. Because with my talent, it is possible that I can save you all. Kibo took the bug back from Maki and... It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my, my my vision is on par with that of a microscope. And so he'll see that there are pathogens there. Maki, I'll borrow this bug back for a moment. He stared at it intensely. I see it. I'll... Why is there a monokuma there? Oh, there are two monokumas there. Why? I'll print out this memory. Oh, there's three. What? Just as before, Kibo printed a picture right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. <laughs> what? That's not what I expected. Is this monokuma? Yeah. Are these the small bugs Gonta was talking about? 
a uh, human's eyes would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. How can a manga bear thing... Like, that takes more cells than a nanoscopic level, right? Um... For Gonta to have noticed them, his vision really was superhuman. Yeah. Hey, what are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Yeah. Why don't we ask them? Mm -hmm. We can talk to this? Yes, I have already installed an augmented hearing function. I guess anything is possible. Start talking now, or I'll squish you one by one. Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Keep our ass in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. They call themselves Naokimas. Apparently, they are members of the Mono Cubs. What? This little thing? Then there are actually six Mono Cubs? I like six billion. Not quite. These don't exist as individuals, but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one. It's a whole swarm of manga cubs. If they're that small, they could have been on my nose or mouth and I'd never know. I don't like the thought of that. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monokuma. Even like a security camera? They're so small, they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be the security cameras. So then, not them already know the truth about the trial. So there were security cameras after all. And they did the recording the footage wirelessly? Kokichi was correct to use the electro bomb. Oh yeah, I forgot about the electro bomb. I did. When he used it, the Narakumas were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. I forgot about that. Yes, in that case, I doubt Monokuma knew the real culprit. Mm. Um, the more I learn, the more I wish Kokichi had just worked with us normally. That's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I never would have imagined the sixth Monica would be security cameras. That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of this entire academy. He's toying with us. Con he's not just confident, he's sure he is. I know that must be what he's thinking. Soka. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. Arigato. Yeah, thanks, Kibo. You are welcome, but we should get going now. So then. Yeah, we all know what Monica will do if we show up late. You're right. So let's start heading to the trial grounds. Mm. Okay. Boku. I'm glad I was able to help. I wouldn't want you to think my sci-fi weaponry is the only growth I've displayed thus far. Well then, let's go. Monica is expecting us. Relax. If we end up failing and it comes time for me to kill you, <laughs> I'll make sure I end your life swiftly so you don't have to suffer. Oh, sweetheart. Arigato. Thank you. Oh, that's good. In the end, we couldn't find the mastermind. They must be really good at hide and seek, but they can't escape my magic. I'll hit them with my... All your relationships will end up being love triangles, Curse. <laughs> that would be very helpful, Kimiko. Konta discovered it? Kokichi made a design? Miyu built the device? It was because of all of them that Kiba was able to find the final clue. 
It's almost like everyone's cheering us on. That's sweet. Let's go. There's no point in worrying anymore. Right now, we only need to think about getting out of here alive. And so we put the destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us and headed to the final trial grounds. Last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair and the beginning of hope. Everything ends here. Everything. The killing game of Hope's Peak Academy. The killing game of Jabberwock Island and the killing game of this ultimate academy. I find it strange they don't mention the killing game of the future foundation. How much more until they're satisfied. This is the end of it. I'm tired of this. We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. So, this is the final trial ground. It's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. What do you mean? More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, I'm sure you wouldn't mind allowing me to participate too, right? It'll be easier to argue if I do. True, I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. You seem confident. You're confident now, but I'm gonna turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. An omnibus? Do you mean the vehicle or like a compilation book? Or... I won't be provoked by your chief threats. He seems really provoked. If Pops is gonna participate, things are gonna get pretty damn interesting. You can do it, father. We'll cheer you on until our voices are hoarse and bleeding. Right, mama damn? Sticky thought. This is beautiful. <laughs> cheer me on? You guys are totally participating too. What? It's him. You kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, Bruce, then what use are any of you? Pivotal? Can we really do it? I don't know. Don't worry. As a good parent, I will do my darndest to motivate you. With this button. What's that button for? <laughs> it's a my cabinet that I'm prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their very best. <laughs> Detonator? Oh. Yep, with a push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each of your bodies. So make sure you try really hard, or I'll stop pressing this button. Got it? <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> you know what they say if your kids are cute, Bob inside them. <laughs> That's not a real saying. I know you cute kids to do this. You just need problem motivation. So no need to worry. Just make sure you all play pivotal roles. That's all. <laughs> How absurd. Yep, bye. 
You really are the worst. Yahoo! I'm the best at being the worst. Don't you think so? Ba-ba-boo! I tell ya, people can't get enough of my crude antics. Alright, let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway. <laughs> 